Hello and welcome to Joe Schaefer FlyFishing.com. Welcome to my series Fly Fishing U. This is going to be a quick uh, tutorial here on how we spot fish in water. I really like this format because I can talk to you pretty informally here and show you kind of how I uh, show clients how to pick out fish in a, a water situation. Um, that's what this tutorial is going to be on is that quick look at how I spot fish. Of course, you see the picture here. And, of course, in this picture, we're going to have the fish that's sitting right here. Now, some of you may have saw that. Some of you may have not. But with looking at this picture, you can kind of see where that fish is at. Now, what I'm going to tell you is, is don't focus on that right now. So kind of block this area out of uh, your view. What I want you to look at here is down here to start out with. Anything below this line here. Okay. I want you to focus in on the area down in here. You see all these little squiggly lines and rocks and different things like that. You see all these formations down here. And as you're looking through the water, especially with polarized sunglasses, that glare gets cut. And then as you see, as it goes further across, you get a lot more glare coming out here. But you can see into this area pretty good. The nice part about this is there's not a lot of straight lines in here, right? There's not many straight lines in any of these areas down here. And that's kind of what... I start out looking for when I start scanning the water I will start close to me and work my way gradually across and I'll take that in layers as I move upstream here um, or downstream depending on where I'm looking but I always want to start close start my scan where I have the best visibility the best cutting of that light across the top of the water and gradually move my way out so when I'm looking down here I see a lot of jagged shapes and things like that now, as I move my eyes forward, so as you start to scan here, uh, down here, and looking this way, and your eyes kind of move slowly across here, I get to this area right here. In this area, um, you can kind of see right in the middle here, is I got all these jagged areas, but all of a sudden I see a more straight line. I start to see some color in this area. Down here, we don't see a lot of color, do we? We see that yellowish color, greenish color in here. Um, down in this area, we're seeing just very flat colors, okay? When I scan forward here, looking up into this section now, I start seeing a little bit of color in this area, in this area, okay, on those fins of that fish, and I'm seeing more straight lines so now I'm seeing this as compared to all these jagged areas as I come forward through here these jagged areas um, are all the rocks and everything of course on the bottom of the river but that's also the ripple effect from the water and things like that and what I'm trying to pick out in there is that very specific line definition on this when I'm looking for fish. So you see that in these areas here, now if I were just to pick out that area where that fish is at, okay, I can see the jaggedness around them, but then I see the straighter lines. I could even pick out, um, as you're focusing in on this, you can pick out fins in there. You can pick out a little bit of the tail in the back here and the turn of that fish's body and you can even in this area see his eye so this is a real clear water uh version here so you're looking at real clear water and you can see the fish a lot easier but this is how i look at the different sections of water as i go through in the process so i break it down into smaller sections as i go through and as I get up and across the water here, as I scan further and further out, I'll break that up into almost little grid sections <clears throat> in my viewing lanes. I try to keep the peripherals out of it. So 
yes, you might see motion in your peripheral vision, okay, and you definitely want to look to those areas. If you see a flash or something like that in the water, you definitely want to look and scan those areas. But when I'm looking at the very specific area going across here, I'm going to start in that grid pattern and make sure my eye really focuses in as I go across the river here. Okay, now when um, I'm moving upriver, I'll just break down into another section and then do that same grid pattern across, okay, looking for flat spots in the water. So see how this ripply area over here, you get a lot of ripple on the top of the water. Then over here, you barely get uh, any ripple effect on top of the water. That's what we call a window. And we want to look for those as it's moving downstream. Those windows very rarely constantly stay in one spot. But I'm looking through those open windows where the water is not flat like here. I'm looking for that flat water here. And I'll follow that window all the way downstream here. And a lot of times as that window moves and you're scanning downriver, um, you can look down through that window into the water and see fish on the bottom of the river. So that's kind of how I look and spot fish. Remember, just going back over a couple things here, look for the coloration. Look for the, the straighter lines as compared to these areas where it's all jagged. Not gonna, there's nothing in this area, right? There's nothing in here except for rocks and uh, just flat colors. As I move up to this, now I see those jagged areas, but then I see those straight lines of that fish and the fins and everything else in that area. That's how I can spot fish. So I hope you enjoyed this uh, quick tutorial on fly fishing you. Um, hope you enjoyed this format. Please leave me uh, comments, questions if you have any. Thank you for watching. Come back to Joe Schaefer Fly Fishing. Thank you. Bye-bye.